welcome for another lesson here we are going to study vector 2 whereby uh, we are going to apply proportional division of life and ratios so that we will get given constants and given vectors so we are told uh, the figure below is a trapezium O A B C such that vector O A is P and O B is Q O C equals to 5 A B therefore O C equals to 5 A B and again we are given that the ratios of O D O D to D C is 3 furthermore we are given uh, the following questions X expressing the vectors so vector OB vector OB vector OB can be gotten when we follow the roots OA then AB therefore OA plus AB which will be P plus Q vector P plus Q we will have gone from A to B so that is how we get the first vector the second one we are getting AB vector AB and vector AB can be got through AO then OD AO plus OD here AO because OA is P then AO is negative P plus OD. We are told that uh, the ratio of OD is to, D is to 2. Therefore, the portion OD will be 3 out of total 5 divisions. 3 out of 5 of vector OC. And vector OC is 5Q. 5Q. Then this means we can express negative P plus 3Q. Negative P plus 3Q, which can be given as 3Q minus P. 3Q minus P. So that is the vector AD. Again, Roman 3, we are taught to express CB. Vector C B vector C B which can be given by the root C O plus O A plus A B. This one is vector. Remember O C is five of Q, which means C O is negative five. Q plus OA which is vector P plus AB which is vector Q. So grouping Q at negative we will get P minus 4 vector Q minus 4 vector Q like that. Then now part B part B Part B. AX equals to KAB. And again, OX equals to R or B. In this question, for us to define these two terms here, these two constants given here, what we do is we choose one of the vectors and we express it in two ways, such that in each way of expression, we will accommodate either of these vectors, AX and OX. Therefore, we can choose to express vector OX in two ways. Vector OX in two ways. And one of the ways is that OX can be given by R OB. So instead of OB, we can write the OB which has already been defined in terms of P and Q, such as this P plus Q. Therefore, this one will be RP plus R Q. 
So that is one way of expressing vector OX. We can express vector OX in another different way. And now this time round, we ensure that vector OX has, accommodate, has accommodated root AX, such that OX can be given by OA plus AX. So that OA is plus AX, which is K. AB has been calculated here. AB is 3Q minus P. 3Q minus P, such that now this should be P plus 3KQ minus KP. We can group the terms in vector P together such that this is equals to P minus KP plus 3KQ. So now here we shall have vector P factored out. Then we remain with 1 minus K. KQ. This is the second way of expressing OX. The first way is this one. So now, after expressing the vector in two ways, now the coefficients of each vector are equated such that the term carrying vector P is equated with the term carrying vector P on the other side. Therefore, from equation 1, RP can be equated to P 1 minus K. And now vector P cancels. And R will be equal to 1 minus K. Okay. Then again we keep the terms carrying vector Q such that R Q equal to 3K Q. 3K Q. Now with this vector Q can cancel out. Vector Q can cancel out. And we will have R being equal to 3K, being equal to 3K. Therefore, now we can use substitution method such that in this first equation, where we have R, we replace or substitute with 3K, such that instead of R, we can have 3K from equation 2 equals to 1 minus K. 1 minus k. When this k is taken to this side, we will have 4k equals to 1, and then we can say k equals to a quarter. k equals to a quarter. So k is a quarter. On the other side, now to get r, then we will say r equals to 3k, and r will be 3, k is a quarter. So r will be 3 quarters. R will be three quarters. So thank you for following. Subscribe to this channel and share the link. Thank you.